So now we will show you how to download the Qbox installer, which you will use later on with the Qbox to install any software or distribution that is available through the Qbox standard and easy to use installation process. We start at the Solid Run homepage. We go to the wiki page. In the wiki page, we have a section for the Qbox installer. We go into that section. In the Qbox installer section, there is a pointer to the location where um, a binary for the Qbox installer is located. We will download that binary, a zip file which we need to uncompress. Now we're going to download version 0.3 of the Qbox installer. We're going to save it to the file. As you can see, it's uh, quite a small file, so it will download very easily, very um, quickly. Okay. We're going to unzip and going to make sure that we will store okay. We're going to unzip the boot, make sure that the boot directory is going to be stored into the root file system of the disk and key which we have here in drive E so as you can see directly under the drive E which is the disk and key we have the boot directory from the compressed file that we downloaded we do a safe eject of the disk and key and we take it to the queue box where we're going to put it in the upper USB slot and start the queue box installation process over there. So as you can see I'm holding the queue box here in my hand. You, we go over the connectors. You can see the DC jack in uh, gigabit ethernet connector full HD over this HDMI connector over here this is the micro SD where we keep the file system two USB connectors when we do the installation you will have to insert the installer, Qbox installer, USB disk and key on the upper one and the lower one we will use to insert the keyboard and mouse dongle eSATA connector micro USB for uh, debug and service. Over here you can see the digital or optical SPDIF interface. If you notice here you will see a small window and there is an infrared receiver behind that window. So this can be used when you want to control the Qbox with an infrared remote control. I'm going to insert the keyboard and mouse dongle in the lower USB connector. Then I'm going to insert the Qbox installer which is on this USB disk and key into the upper connector. Now I'm going to connect the Ethernet, HDMI and then going to plug the power in. So we have connected, like we said, all the USB dongles. We have the Ethernet connect, uh, Ethernet cable connected, HDMI cable connected. Now I'm going to connect DC input. The first thing you see is the red light in the front. This is the um, keyboard and mouse that we're going to be using to uh, control and, and do the installation process. Now we get the installation uh, menus. On the top you notice that there is still no IP allocated. The first thing we do is we run the obtain IP address command. We press enter. You can see now that, that we have an IP address, IP address 10.0.1.3. Now we start the installation process. We do the, we execute the run the installer command. We press enter. We choose the installation target device. Now we choose the installation, uh, the package that we want to install. 
in this case I'm gonna choose X Ubuntu 12 we press enter the system is asking us if we want to update the clock from the internet so we say yes now the system is asking us to confirm that we want to wipe out the contents of the micro SD and install a new software package on it we press yes and the installation process starts this is going to be a long installation since we are getting or downloading about 500 megabyte or 410 megabyte to be precise our link speed is about 1 megabyte per second so it's going to take us about 8 to 9 minutes to complete so now the installation process is complete we're going to reboot the system but first we will need to in to take out the USB keybox installer disconnect power reconnect power or we could actually choose the reboot option which uh, reboot the system into the new installed software the system finished booting into the X Ubuntu login screen we're gonna enter the password which is QBOX in this case C-U-B-O-X or lowercase we log in into the system takes a few seconds to finish now we are into the system we can start running some interesting stuff like um, browsing the internet or installing some software that we'd like to use I'm gonna show how you can play the game Mines so you can see I chose the 8x8 eight eight. doing quite well Oh, 